There has been a lot of backlash for Black Panther Wakanda Forever that's all really targeted at Namor the Submariner and the major changes that they're making to the character in the MCU. Now the director, Ryan Coogler, defends the decisions they made in regards to these changes. So this comes at us from an interview that Ryan Coogler did with EW, where he was specifically asked about Namor, what it was like to take this character that has such a long history in Marvel Comics and officially introduce him into the MCU, and then why exactly they decided to change some of the elements from the comics, and if he could address all the backlash to the changes. And he did say that, when you're making a film, you have to lean into all this weird stuff, just like in the comics. But on top of that, you have to adapt it for whatever the story needs, but also keeping things at its core similar. So essentially what he's saying is, if you look at Namor that we have here, we're adapting him to the MCU, which is different than the comics, which is more or less what they've done with everything. Again, Iron Man's origin in the MCU is not the comic book origin, neither is the Hulk. Like Captain America, they even changed those elements up. So again, they're always doing this. I mean, they always do this in live action. But he says that when they approached this and looked at it, they realized they wanted a different character. And then when talking about some of the actual uh, negativity surrounding it, he said that people should just wait to see the end result and see what they do that's interesting and a new take on Namor that's unlike anything. And he says that there's already characters out there that they would be um, you know, drawing parallels to, which obviously is mentioning Aquaman. If they just straight up did Namor from the comics, he would essentially be DCEU's Aquaman because DCEU's Aquaman tried to do more Namor than actual comic book Aquaman. I think diehard Aquaman fans can all tell you this, which I am, and I can tell you that. So again, I understand what they're going for here. Neither one wanted to go down the comic book route, so they changed it, and Marvel Studios realized, hey, yeah, there's a lot of negativity for these changes, but we have to change it, and maybe people should just, um, you know, go into this with an open mind and see what we're doing here. And again, I'm cool with it. I like what they did with DCEU Aquaman, outside of taking the Codex and giving that to Superman, and I like what they're doing here with Namor giving him a different origin that ties more into the whole god aspect and everything like that which to me is really cool it just gives the character a whole new direction if you